Hey guys, this is Aaron. You may or probably should already know about groups and components at this point. Um, if not, I'll link to a video down below where you can learn a little bit more about them. The real important thing about groups and components is it lets you take pieces, faces and edges and put them together so that they form an object. An object is the, the things in SketchUp. If you've hung around here at all, you know that that's a very important step and usually you create your geometry and then you go in and create a group or component or an object out of those pieces. In SketchUp Pro version 2020.1, we've made some changes that makes it a little bit different and makes it a little easier to create your objects up front. Let's hop in and take a look at how that works. All right, so I have an empty model. Well, it's not empty completely. I do have Laura here and you see Laura is a component. I'm gonna go ahead and take Laura out right now and we're coming here to start modeling a little bit. So super quick primer on how this all works. If I come in here and draw a rectangle and pull it up, I've created a series of edges. If I click these lines, it tells me it's an edge. And faces, if I click this surface, it tells me it's a face. This is loose geometry. It's all connected together, so if I move one piece, the rest of it moves. That's pretty normal. If I come over here and create a second thing, then create another rectangle, push, pull it up. I'll triple click to select it all and move it so it connects to this existing geometry. Now, if I was to grab it and try to move it away, of course, it's connected, it's stuck together. This is SketchUp sticky geometry. This is what's supposed to happen. To prevent that from happening, I'm gonna undo, right click and say, make a group. As soon as I do that, when I make this into a group, a couple things happen. One is that geometry isolates. I can put it over here and move it away. It's not gonna join together. The other thing is I have the ability to put information in here. If I come up to Entity Info, I can put an instance on here. I can get the uh, cubic footage or cubic measurement. If I was to take this other set of geometry and make it into a component, you'll see that I have other information that gets prompted here. Definition, description, and I have some options for how I want the component to be handled as well as advanced attributes. So those are components. Those are objects. Uh, Generally speaking, this is how we did it before. Is we, we created these and then we right click and we assign that information. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this out and take a look at what SketchUp 2020.1 does. Right now with nothing created, if I right click, I can say make group. And this immediately puts me inside the group. If I come in here and do the same thing I did before and draw a rectangle, as soon as I draw anything on the screen, my group boundary shows up. And this is telling me that I'm inside a group. So as I create and modify this geometry, I'll see that that geometry uh, changes and my container here gets bigger to accommodate it. As soon as I click outside of that container shape, I'm back on the outside. If I click this, it tells me this is a solid group that I just created and I have the ability to add an instance or view the volume just like I did before. If I was to right click on nothing and say make component, it's gonna work a little bit differently because first thing it's gonna do is say, where do you wanna put the axes? The axes is the placement point that components come into the model using. So this is like the handle that's gonna be placed by. I'm gonna say I want it to align with this side of the existing group. So I'm gonna click right here. Now it's gonna prompt me for the component information. What do I wanna call this thing? I'm gonna call this uh, my new box. Doesn't really matter what I call it, but I can put in a definition, description. I can put information in here specific to components like gluing or facing camera, and I can add my advanced attributes before I go any further. Once I click create, I'll be in a very similar situation as before. You can see I do have my container here because it's around my axes. And now if I come in with my rectangle, this is a cool functionality of drawing a component from nothing is I can say I want the side of this to exactly align with this current geometry and I don't have to worry about that geometry merging because it's inside of a separate container. I'll go ahead and put some additional geometry on here just so we can see how this works. And uh, we'll put it on here too. And when I exit here, same thing, if I pick here, it tells me same thing. This is a component that I created from scratch. So group component created from nothing in SketchUp 2020.1. As mentioned before, as you play with SketchUp, you realize just how important groups and components are. Generally speaking, the learning curve goes something like this. Somebody comes into SketchUp, draws a bunch of things, they get connected together, or they end up on tagged weird and stuff is coming and going, flying around. 
they go learn that they're supposed to put things in groups and components and then it's this whole new piece of SketchUp opens up and everything gets better and, and wonderful and easier. So this is just taking that better, wonderful, easier part and putting it closer to the front of the learning curve. So hopefully you like that. If so, go ahead and click on like down below and we'll know. And if you haven't already clicked on subscribe, we release a couple of videos a week and do a live stream usually at least once a week and you'll be notified of those if you subscribe on YouTube. Most importantly though, please leave a comment. Most if not all of our content at this point is created from comments and suggestions from viewers like you. We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.